Hi guys, I'll be showing you how to download the Zabbix appliance and install it using the VMware. Okay, you'll just go to this website. Everything will be provided in the description. And we'll choose 6.4 and you have all the list here, but I'll just go with 6.4. And specifically, I'll choose this uh, VMware. So let's click download. Now it's done. And I'll just uh, extract this one in a certain folder. Just to let you know, you need the four core to run this uh, SAPIC appliance. So you better check your uh, computer if you can, can support. Uh, you cannot run this one with the two cores only. So we'll just uh, open the virtual machine. Simple as that. You just click. And I'll just make sure this is uh, using bridge mode. Guys, you can choose anything who you want. But I want this one reachable to internet. So I'll just hit enter. We'll do the installation. It may take a while, but uh, you will see the login page later. Okay, for the CLI, the username would be root, R-O-O-T, and the password would be Sabix. What we want to try here is to load the IP address because we're trying to reach the server, uh, I mean the Sabix GUI. So the, our IP address is already listed here. So what we'll just do is just type the IP address. Okay. And for the GUI, the username is different. It's not root. It's admin with a capital A. But the same password is Savix. Okay, here it is. It's already alive. Now, what we'll do is we will monitor one of the servers. Okay, basically, this is like the server 2019. Okay, I'll just power on this one. The things that uh, I need here is the Sabix, Sabic agent. So we will install a Windows Sabic agent on this 2019. So it can be able to... Okay, the Sabic server is trying to communicate using this uh, Sabic agent. You can actually choose a SNMP string to communicate in between the server and also the Sabic server. But for now, what I'll want you to, I want to show is installing a Sabic agent which for me is uh, pretty straightforward to log in now this is the server that I used to install the ES ESXi so I'll just uh, change the IP address I believe the IP address here is still the same from the previous activity that I did let me just uh, quickly try something here if this one is uh, able to connect to the internet okay confirm it cannot go to the internet let's uh, just uh, troubleshoot this one quickly the 
first thing that I'll check here is the IPv4 properties. So let's just make sure that will, this one will just obtain IP uh, automatically from our home router. So this is just like a con connection from from the VM. It will try to get the uh, IP address from our home ISP uh, router. Still, I'm unable to get the internet. Wait, let me just uh, verify something else here. Okay, obtain. Okay, let's me do a quick uh, release and uh, renew. Okay, great. All right. Now let's download the Windows Sabix agent. Okay, we use 6.4 on our server, so we'll just use 6.4 as well. installation here now for the uh, server you should use the IP address of the server for the Sabix server just do a quick copy and I'll just try to change this one to a much better name mm, maybe I'll <laughs> rename it again okay this one will do and I'll paste the IP address and click next install. Okay, finish. Okay, we need to verify if the Savic server is reachable from our Windows server. Now let's go back to Savix. We will need to add a host. Click this create host, what should be the host name and then uh, the visible name, same as well that would do and for the template you just, you need to look for the Windows Sabix agent. So we're trying to reach the server using this uh, Sabix agent. Now this one is a virtualized machine. And then for the interface we're using the Sabix agent so we'll use this uh, interface. Click OK. This one will just need time to uh, reach the server itself, but you should see the Sabix uh, should go green. OK, it's already up. You can actually see the, all the data uh, if you want to view the latest graph and everything. So quick ping. Go to the dashboard you will see it's already two so if you want to customize this one you just click edit dashboard I don't want this dashboard I might just delete this one I don't even need this delete right here you can expand okay, the graph here is the server itself so you can choose that right now it's showing the netroute server and then if you want to show if there's any problem you just take any of these options on the top I don't want this server uptime as well I might just delete those things it really depends on you guys uh, which widget you want to show inside your dashboard but as for my side, I just want this uh, simple uh, things right now. You need to make sure that you save your dashboard. Okay, maybe we can add another more uh, server here. I'll add my own PC. Okay, download the Zabbix agent again, 6.4.
Hmm. Wait, I think. Uh, wait. Hold on a minute. Oh yeah, I still have the Savage right now. Installed already. Yeah, I'll just change again. So reinstalling everything. Okay, that's it. I have my own server. So I'll just add this one accordingly using your eight holes. This would be the host name. Again, the templates would be Sabix Agent. Interface. Maybe uh, we'll just use this one. Interface, Sabix Agent. And then that's it. Just need to wait for it. Alright, it's up, it's free already. Okay, that's it guys. I've already shown you how to download, troubleshoot, and also install this Sabix agent, which is very easy, straightforward, which uh, you can use for a Windows server if you want to monitor it. 